So today I want to talk about the development of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Colombia. I've been part of that ecosystem since 2012, when it started to take a big impulse up till about 2020, when I moved back to the Netherlands. Now that I've taken some time and taken some distance, I can probably get to a couple of different opinions and different insights. And hopefully those will be useful to you if you're trying to build an entrepreneurial ecosystem in your town or your country. So I want to share with you a couple of points on that perspectives, on that perspective. The first one is going to be about to build a funnel of entrepreneurs, actually, then uh, the importance of really being aware that you're not in Silicon Valley, there's going to be some differences. So how to really Take it from there, from where you're at, because there is not really anything else um, about subject matter experts and how to work with different industries or different verticals and my opinion about that. And uh, the last one is that uh, the objective of this entrepreneurial ecosystem, and that refers back to the funnel, you might not be needing to only aim for like big corporate, unicorn, startup, big companies. But for us in Colombia, it's been very valuable for people just to be able to change their lives really and create local businesses, which also add a lot of value to the local economy. So let's start with the first one. So the funnel. So entrepreneurship is always going to be a funnel. And when you get to the start, of the funnel, then um, you need a lot of entrepreneurs coming in and entrepreneurship is really a skill. So the more you can get into that, and Colombia, for example, is a very entrepreneurial country, but it's very necessity-based entrepreneurship. So it's very much, if you don't have an income, then you need to sell something. So you start a, a small store or selling food on the street or something like that. Well, that is something that those entrepreneurial skills and that type of creativity is very fertile ground if you want to move on to opportunity-based entrepreneurship. So that's something to stimulate and to really take good care of because that entrepreneurial skill can, if you combine it with the right subject matter expertise, if you combine it with the right uh, uh, people who can actually create something innovative, you can really do magic there, but you need a lot of people coming in. So it's always going to be a funnel. So early stage is going to be a lot of people, hopefully thousands of teams coming in with their idea. It might not be much yet, but still they have an idea. And then getting to product market fit, there's going to be less and building their business, creating their business model and setting up their project is going to be less. Those who are going to receive investment from angel investor, venture capital are going to be less. So it's really about creating a funnel for people to go through and having enough people coming in, making the start of the funnel, the mouth of the funnel large enough in order to keep the right amount of entrepreneurs progressing to the next phase. And of course you need to take care of the people who are falling out as well. So make make sure that like, for example, investment is available and uh, that all contributes to that entrepreneurial ecosystem. Making sure enough people that are coming in is also contributing a lot. Now, in Colombia, we did the, uh, we did this like from 2012, uh, there was a lot of a lot of uh, particularly government programs focusing on that very first phase. Now, those might be people setting up bigger companies, but there might be a lot of people just trying out if this entrepreneurship thing is something for them and then finding out that it's not and they prefer employment. Now, that's fine. You need enough people to come in and those who are going to create the unicorns might not be at the start of the funnel, but they become visible towards the end of the funnel. Now that's fine because if you're taking care of each part of the funnel, 
for those people, it will also be easier to find what they need for their phase of their idea. So it's really about building a funnel where, where people can come in and go out, maybe get back in or something like that, where there's a lot of mobility and people can uh, find a lot of opportunities for wherever stage of their business they're at. Now, second, it's very important to realize it's not Silicon Valley. Um, in 2012, this was really just starting. And by now there is a lot of, a lot more investment around, uh, people know more about startups, like the whole industry has grown and that's a very good thing, but still, this is a country where you need to, where just like money is not laying around. You need to get to results and you need to get to some sort of business model really quite fast. And it's important to realize that in the focus of the idea, just to make sure that there's a certain perspective, there's a, of course, there's a vision and an innovation around, but there's also a perspective of how to survive on the short term, because that's what you need when you're in this type of environment. So very important to, to realize that. Now, how do you do that? Basically, what we've seen is that subject matter experts are very important. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of expertise, but any sort of expertise and the ability to kind of identify an opportunity within that specific sector will do to create a good business. They might not be unicorns. It might not be like the next Facebooks, but sometimes there's, for example, a psychologist who uh, specializes in child ab abuse, who can do wonderful things, building a, a game for like children to identify situations that are vulnerable to abuse and sell that to like uh, uh, child protection services that might be a very good business um there's like uh, platforms touristic touristic plas platforms that might be a very good business very locally but they might do very well so you need a certain subject matter expertise and when you can identify an opportunity within that field it's very easy to build a business model upon that. So business to business, um, focusing on very specific areas is very much more fruitful than having a general business, a very broad business or a very innovative business, and then teaching everybody what it's about. So you need to get to that subject matter expertise and that will help you to overcome like the obstacle of for example investment just creating a business model that works in a medium term um, and a way to survive on the short short term also now the last one is about um what should be the aim of this uh, um, this funnel this uh, process that entrepreneurs go through really so uh, we found that, yes, there's a couple of entrepreneurs who will get into Y Combinator and there's a couple of entrepreneurs who will go ahead and create uh, a unicorn or something that is very close to a unicorn. But more than that, like the very start of that funnel, the people who come in first, they get a chance to figure out if entrepreneurship is for them or not, and it might not be. And second, a lot of them even though they might not be successful with their projects at that time, they will conserve that skill of entrepreneurship. They will know how to go about things when they want to create their next project. And that is a very good skill to have in this kind of context. So that skill of entrepreneurship, practicing that and knowing how to go about it is very valuable by itself for new projects or to contribute as a co-founder or within another company that's that's starting up or creating new and inno innovative projects. That's very valuable. And also you get to change lives really, because people who um, may not have any other 
interesting opportunity. They just get the chance to learn from entrepreneurship and get some guidance and that way um, uh, change their lives and they will do it by themselves. And that I think is very important because that is how like uh, people who have a great potential can go ahead and create something for themselves. So I hope you liked these. I hope you liked these lessons learned from the Colombian entrepreneurial ecosystem. Would love to know what you think in the comments. Um, and of course, if you're interested in more contents about entrepreneurship and innovation, please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you at the next one.